Thank you for the Vote Trading Tuesday, April 15. The time right now is 20 minutes at 3 p.m. Each time we're in the fire, you're looking at a chart of the silver futures. The future is um, has pulled back, away from the existence. If the market can get above the 15, then we should get back into the Kuma to be able to test the high, the high end of the 15, 1570. And uh, right now, market is trading within the cut of 1509 and, and we trace this bar from 154094 and then the markets bounce back. so from this break here of 1531 the market is meant to come back up and now is trading it uh, uh, so again we'll, we'll look and see um, so you can do that in the 15 area Taking a look now, intraday on the gold futures. Gold futures intraday uh, did manage to stay at 1230. The psychological 1200 support managed to to hold, even pull back. We did the intervals way of 12. We held that. We did 12 uh, 16 though, and the market is is well well off the low of this support level right here. Broke out. Started to uh, pulse wave at 1229.90, got all the way up to 1239.20, and is holding steady at 1230.80. So this market is is nicely supported around the long-term trend line right here. This orange line right here should be able to get above the Kumo cloud of 1240. That's what we're waiting to see a breakout of. Uh, the support right now, this 12, 14, 7 support right now is not in play. This price action is far removed from it. Um, so we're looking at a continuation here, some perhaps somewhere in the overnight market or somewhere into tomorrow morning. We see that, uh, that taking place. And right now what we're waiting on overall, I'm going to show you here on the um, week chart, Nice support here around the 1200 mark, that psychological support. Just like I told you several videos ago, I told you that 1200 was going to be the new support. I told you that back here. And that's what's happening now. We're staying above that 1200 psychological support. Uh, if this market shows signs of topping out, then you're getting back into the, uh, the 1170s, 1150s. 1150 is strong support. 1179.20 as of right now uh, would be uh, a short trigger. That, cause that's that's a that's a short trigger right there. All right, let's get back to our intraday here. Take a look at the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is interesting right now because we've been moving quietly around this uh, this trend line support. Right now, 94.48 is strong support. A break below that would trigger a sell signal. Uh, the 9508 is in play. That's your trend line resistance, and that's where we see prices when to make a run at uh, sometime here uh, by Friday's close. That's that's going to be what we're looking at. So 9448 uh, is a, a short trigger with 9508 being our initial target. Move it along now, taking a look at the uh, the S&P 500. S&P 500 right now has a overhead resistance at 2065 and a half, and it's making its way into the Kumo cloud. It's a, thin a thinly traded cloud, so uh, anything can happen. It can break below it and then whipsaw back up again, or it can break below it and just fall like a rock. Momentum's pointing up a little bit, uh, but the market is still far away from the 2065 overhead resistance. Therefore, I don't see that in play right now. I see another break to the downside um, setting up right now because we're below the long-term trend line. The last time we closed below it here on the next bar, we, we had an upward thrust in the next two bars. Again here, two bars pushed it up. Here, it's it's a little tricky to see what's going to happen. 
we'll see what happens in the overnight market uh, the SP has one more bar to try to do something if it cannot close above the trend line over this overhead trend line resistance on the next bar then that's going to set this market up for a drop and then it could be a long term thing here was different because we we established the overhead resistance and then the market was able to break it here same thing we established the overhead resistance market was removed from it not as far as we are from here but it still has some overhead uh, resistance here and then the market pushed higher and broke it couldn't stay there couldn't stay there and then we fell back down anytime you have the market you know the resistance lines far removed from the market like that any break above it usually is going to be faded it's going to be sold and that's what you saw here this move here finally gave up and then here you go so this one is, is looking engine right now we'll have to keep an eye on it one market of note is the Russell as you can see the Russell canal is very interesting uh, it has strong resistance right now strong support at the 1091 price level very strong support so 1090 1091 that's the bottom of this Kumo cloud right here all right that's 1090 however if the price action breaks below 1090 then because this market hasn't post wave yet uh, we're looking at like 2060 2050 2040 as an initial target for support back here you see it it's on a spike it broke this overhead resistance only to fall down trigger a sell short then reverse back up again take out the resistance and then fail like the S&P did so it's been a lot of whipsaw action here you know long short long short and collapse so that that's telling you that there's something going on in the market that's this looks like a topping out pattern to me all right once we broke here we tested failed tested here just took out the oh, the last high faked you out a little bit and then collapsed the new lows we took out this support low on this last break that's not good that's showing signs of weakness so we're gonna really have to watch one see what happens Let me show you what I mean on the longer term time frame it's like the, the the Russell is lagging and I think the market's weakness for the, the Russell to catch up the Russell's not leading the market higher right now it, it's lagging the the other market here's a support coming up it is far removed so a test to it could make the market move back hard to say but right now 995 uh, 50 is what the current support trigger is a break below that for the Russell would signify the end and the downside would be massive all right so this is your long-term weekly chart you can see the market's been trending down all right low highs lower lows on each wave we take out the support all right you took out support here initially then you took out support here and now here's the new support here markets showing it is topping coming back correct into this trend line here if this trend line here does not hold at the 1076 then that's going to signal a downward thrust in this particular market so uh, the, the indexes are looking very weak right now uh, with no uh, I just don't see any upward momentum here for these markets uh, one other thing I want to look at here is the grain looking soybeans specifically on a long term chart you see it's kind of just flat quiet not a lot going on but we did manage to break this upward resistance at the at the 900 mark and now the market's hanging out currently at 903 uh, 905 ish so we'll say 905 it's just hanging out there but this support trigger of 863 and a half is right here looming a break below that would signal um, the next sell the last one as you can see here this 854 support um, failed and the market broke out so still any anything goes uh, we don't know what's gonna happen is this gonna test this trend line and fall down is this upward thrust this little teeny micro breakout gonna be shorted tough to say depends on what happens with the dollar if the dollar restrengthens, then 
this market is just going to be toast it's going to fall back down again if the dollar falls out of bed then this could easily get above the Kumo cloud and break 10 and then the next target would put 1100 in play so that's all we have for now remember that bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered remember to take what you can and give nothing back